the January transfer window on our doorstep, rumours are circulating on who Spurs will sign in the window. And if not in this window, in the summer window. It's obviously not been the easiest of seasons for Ange Postacoglu's Tottenham Hotspur, but we all know where we could fix this team in specific areas on the pitch. So today on the Sunny Talk Spurs YouTube channel, I'm going to be suggesting some transfers that could fix Tottenham Hotspur. But if you are new, as I say, to the Sunny Talk Spurs YouTube channel, then drop us a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave your comment down below. Who do you want us to sign? So this video comes off the back of a tweet that has been doing the rounds about what Spurs may or may not be doing in the upcoming January transfer window. And it was a tweet by Dan Kilpatrick and it said, signing another forward in the January transfer window is a priority for Tottenham. So this is quite key, isn't it? This is like a very, you know, seismic piece of news because we all know in years gone by, Spurs in the January transfer window, it's been one of two things. We either do nothing at all or we'll pull something out of the bag and it'd be really random. I'm thinking Lucas Moura, Kulisevsky, Benson Core, for example, to name a few in recent years, you could say. But Ange Postacoglu actually was asked in one of his recent press conferences about what Spurs could be doing in the tra January transfer window and this is what he had to say. Um, strikers, I want to ask you about that. Obviously, you're in the situation again at the weekend with, with no Dom and uh, Richarlison as well with, with his issues. Um, I mean, especially on Richarlison with the frustrations that he's had over his Tottenham career, is that an area that you kind of have to look at now because, I don't want to sound too harsh, but maybe you can't trust because of previous experiences that he's going to come back and be there for a prolonged period? Yeah, look, I, I think there's no doubt. I mean, because, again, when you add Wilson to that and you add even Mikey now, um, he said, you know, I said we had Dom out on the weekend. Um, now, you kind of hope that that sort of alleviates, although with Wilson, it's it's obviously long-term. Um, yeah, hopefully, Mikey, you know, by the turn of the year, will be back as well. Um, but again, he's 17. So, yeah, look, with Richie, um, it, it has been sort of frustrating because I just see the, you know, the potential in him. And, and to be fair to him, when he's been fit, he's always made an impact for me anyway. Um, I think back to the start of last year and then when he came back into the team um, you know, during the year, he went on a scoring run. Even the little games he's played this year, he's made an impact. So, you know, that's what you kind of hold on to. But um, there's no doubt we, we, we need some bolstering in that front third, um, you know, over the sort of um, course of, you know, the next sort of couple of transfer windows because, um, you know, it's you know, Dom coming in has been great, but again, we can't overload him either because ultimately, you know, whether, even if he stays fit, you know, like on wood, nothing happens, performance will invariably drop if his energy levels drop. So it's something we're, we're, we're aware of and, and kind of need to plan for. So, yeah, very interesting. And obviously the Spurs fan base, we, we know where we need to improve. I'm thinking maybe a goalkeeper full-backs, midfielders, but forward line, as I say, seems to be a priority. So today, I'm going to be putting forward three forwards, and we'll be seeing if we think they're good enough for Spurs and which one edges it over, you know, the priority signings. So to start, I'm going to go with Max Tillman from PSV, who is a USA international. He's absolutely been ripping it up in the Champions League this year for PSV Eindhoven. And the tweet read from Plessy Girl, it said, No, Tottenham have shown interest and made a concrete inquiry to PSV regarding a potential transfer for Malik Tillman. However, a winter transfer is unlikely since his 30 to 40 million release clause only becomes active at the end of the season. I think this is quite an interesting transfer because, you know, Tillman, along with uh, Pepe, uh, two USA internationals, have been pulling up trees this year for PSV. You know, he was at Bayern Munich beforehand. He had a few loan spells to Rangers and then PSV made it permanent. Um, and he does look pretty good. Like, he's been really, really consistent across a lot of games. And if we look at his goals over the season thus far, you know, it sort of goes to show that, you know, he may not get, you know, 
ba bag falls of goals. But, you know, nine uh, goals and four assists in 22 competitions is nothing to really, you know, turn your nose up, up at. He's, you know, a left winger who can play attacking mid, centre mid, and also DM if needs be. Um, and I think, you know, it's quite a good signing. Obviously, the problem is, is this video is titled January, but a lot of these deals are probably more likely to happen in the summer. Um, and as the news goes there, we see that it's more than likely his release clause comes into effect. And, you know, he's a good age. He's a good profile of a player for Ange Postacoglu's Tottenham. Uh, hopefully, if he's still in the job <laughs> by the end of the season or wherever. But I like the idea of this one. I do think that it's still an unknown entity, maybe at the top European level. Um, but I think he's got enough pedigree. I like the idea of it, but as I say, it's hard to know if it's actually going to come off. But this season in the Champions League as well, he gave a really good interview uh, after impressing for PSV against Shakhtar. And I just think this interview sort of embodies the sort of person he is as well. Malik, first of all, where's your man of the match trophy? <laughs> in the changing room on my place. Uh, I think it's, it's good there, yeah. What's going through your mind right now? A lot. Uh, crazy game, crazy comeback. Um, I mean, we, we created many chances, to be to be honest, but yeah, we, we couldn't finish them till, I don't know, five minutes before the end. Um, but yeah, there, there are also a lot of things that we have to improve on, uh, especially how we, yeah, how we start the game. Uh, first half wasn't, wasn't good. Um, but yeah, the, the mentality that we showed today, I think, is, was excellent. Is this the first time you experienced a comeback like this? I mean, yeah. If you if you see if you saw the the game last season against Sevilla, the away game, um, but also the home game, we came 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 back to a draw. Um, but yeah, also the away game when we when we won that game, um, I think it was similar. Maybe maybe even more special because we got to the next round in that game. Um, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't take away that this one was also uh, very special. Yeah, uh, you were watching your insane second goal. Tell us about that goal. Uh, yeah, I, I just thought, yeah, why not? Uh, why not take the shot? Um, I mean, I had I had a few good ones in the warm up already, so I felt kind of good. Um, but yeah, extremely happy that this one went in. Is this one of your best goals ever? Yeah, this is the ah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It has to be. It's, it's the best goal I've scored so far, yes. Could it get any better than, than this? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe further away, but yeah, this one was really, really good, I think. The next transfer keeps being linked with Spurs uh, in the regards of a winger. And it's one of those ones where I sit there, I read the tweets, I see the rumours and... It's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to mention him anyway. He's been linked to Liverpool, Chelsea, Barcelona, Arsenal, but he's also somehow being linked to Spurs as well. It's Nico Williams from Athletic Club, the Bilbao, if I've ever said that in the right order. I always, I'll just call him Bilbao, just call him Bilbao. And a tweet said that Tottenham are amongst the clubs who are long-standing admirers of Athletic Club winger Nico Williams. Williams would prefer not to leave the Spanish club in the winter window, but it's probably that he will join a new club at some point in 2025, according to David Ornstein. Again, like a lot of these clubs are not going to be bullied into selling their top players in the winter time because if they haven't got replacements, winter is harder. It's you know obviously a smaller window, and you know it's harder to get in replacements. You know we saw with Bournemouth when they sold a Solanke, it took them a bit of time to actually get Evan Nilsson over the line um, to replace him. But I mean, Nico Williams would be a great winger for Spurs. Like his stats, you know, his goals this season have been again, you know. All right, like not the not the most impressive, you know. Twenty one uh, games, two goals, five assists. But the thing is, he is the profile of winger that Ange would want. You know, can play left wing, left mid, right wing if needed as well. So Ange will see that as you know a lot of potential that he can work with and improve even further. Obviously, we know how impressive he was at the Euros. I watched him in that final, and he was absolutely sublime alongside Laminia Mao. And I just feel like it's one of those ones where you know, again, release clauses. 
you know, it's a higher caliber club's going to go there. Barcelona haven't got the money. They can't even apparently afford to keep Danny Olmo. So I like the idea. I love the idea of Nico Williams. I can't see that happening. But yeah, I, I feel like this is one that it, it's just a rumor again, isn't it? It's not the transfer that could save Spurs. But there is one transfer who I think will save Spurs. And I think it's it's a good opportunity to get in a player of top, top calibre and beat other top clubs to his signature. And that is Jonathan David at Lille. I think Jonathan David has been an absolutely fantastic servant. Again, the tweet linking us to him said, Tottenham have made a significant economic offer, which I think is the most baffling wording I've ever seen in a transfer-related <laughs> tweet. Um, have made a significant offer to Lil forward Jonathan David ahead of the expiration of his contract on 1st of July 2025. Now, this is what I want to make clear. His contract is expiring at the end of the season, but Tottenham have got to go out there and make this one permanent. We need more attacking options, hence why I've done this video, hence why we're being linked to forwards. I think you could get Jonathan David out of Lille for a, you know, a quite a cheaper fee than maybe a few years back. He's been highly touted for many years. He's still 24 years old, he's still got bags of potential, and he just is probably due that European move, uh, the Canadian, but instead of waiting to the summer where the likes of a Chelsea or an Arsenal could snap him up, I think you've got to get in there early and Tottenham have actually got to try and flex some of their financial muscle for once. Because if you look at his stats, I mean, my word, they are absolutely unbelievable. You know, 17 goals and three assists in 23 appearances is so, 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 so impressive. I think he's a great sort of attacker that could, you know play a second striker with Dominic Solanke, compete for those first team spots. You know, Richarlison needs to be moved on. He's not good enough. You know, he could play, I think like Solanke and Jonathan David could play off of each other. And that's why he's centre of my thumb now, because I think he would be the perfect signing for Ange Postacoglu's Spurs. He is just sort of, we, we, we want to live in an age now where it's funny. I remember watching Spurs growing up and we would have, Berbatov, Robbie Keane, Defoe, Pavlachenkos, and you know, Crouch. You know, a lot of those strikers played like there was a good four at the same time at the club. I mean, obviously, that was the day where you'd play two strikers. A lot of modern football is the 4 3 3. But I think this is the perfect opportunity to get in another striker who could have an impact and, you know, and actually, you know, give Solanke some competition in that team because there's so many times where maybe you want a different option. You know, David is a quick, pacey striker, um, offers something a bit different to Dominic Solanke. And I just think this is the perfect time to go out there and, as I say, flex that financial muscle Tottenham and sign a player that will, you know, that will improve the fan base, you know, and I know Levy loves signing players about, based on, you know, countries and stuff, but, you know, a Canadian, he'd probably want a Canadian on the books. It sounds a bit silly when you put it like that, but I like the idea of Jonathan David. And in many interviews, he spoke about his love and want to play in the Premier League. So I think what really helped me was that I met a coach when I was 11. Who was that? Uh, Hany Amugrabi. So he was my coach from 11 until I moved to, to Belgium. So I think I was lucky to meet him because he was a very serious coach and his way of working was he wants to create players to play in Europe. So that, that aligned perfectly what I wanted to do. So was it always in your mind, European football, that's my goal? Yeah, for me, you know, I was always watching European football on TV. So for me, that was always the goal. For me, it was only, I wanted only to go to Europe. What kind of football, like La Liga, La French football, Premier League? Yeah, so when I was growing up, I was watching a lot of La Liga because that's what they were showing on, on the TV. And obviously some Premier League too, early in the mornings and a bit of Syria. But you have to let me know in the comments down below, who of those three players would you like us to sign? What's more realistic? Or is there another name you want to sign? And maybe I can do a video on them as well. But hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned tonight as I will be doing a reaction to Rangers versus Spurs. But until then, leave your likes, leave your comments, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys very soon. Ciao.